Hello people, what's happening? Um, welcome to this video on um, SmartLine Jam 2018 in showcasing the new feature of the Network Exam Bring Your Own Device module. Okay, um, without much ado, um, I'm just going to show you how this works. If you come to the add-on tab here, you can click on Network Exam and um, you can create a new Network Exam. So I'm just going to call this, um, let's just say test exam. And then I'm just going to name this text. All right. Now the exam code has to be unique and, um, it should have no space whatsoever. So exam title could be the same. You know, you could create so many network exams while using the application. The exam title can be the same, but the exam code has to be unique across all exams. So I'm just going to go next. And um, to make this really quick, I'm probably just going to, you know, select just a few subjects. And um, let me just say four. And I'll be using the free mode this time around because it allows me to, you know, pick the questions which I want. So I'm just going to say um, this is a questions by subject. So basically five questions for each subject. And then this is like 10 minutes for each subject. Uh, it just, you know, you can configure your exam anyhow you want. And I'm going to launch this while this is launching. Um, I'd want you to know that, um, um, the application is available on the Google play store. Um, as you can see, it's also available on the app store for those that have um, iOS devices and it's also available for um, on the Amazon App Store so if you have a Blackberry 10 device you can also download it from there okay sorry about that all right um, when the web server starts you see the um, web server IP address you can either type it on your browser or if you have a mobile device you can like you know scan it i have a number of devices here um i have a blackberry 10 device a blackberry passport is specifically i have um an ios i have two ios devices here and um two other android devices as well as um two laptop devices so there's basically a lot of device i'm just you know going to show you how this works I'm going to connect from my iPhone right now. I'm just going to do that real quick. One thing you need to know, you can actually monitor the connections and then see information about, you know, the examinees that are connected here. So whenever anyone connects, you can see the information over here um, by clicking on um, monitor activities. Now, another thing you need to know, um, it's possible that um, smart LAN jam does not um, detect the correct IP address which you want to make use of especially if your system has um, multiple network interfaces so if you click on see all network addresses um, you can see the IP address for the different network interfaces uh, as you can see my system has um, about three of them but um, this one works just fine in my case so I'm just going to connect from the various devices. So if you get a come here, you can see that um, I connected um, from a mobile device. And um, if you can see information about the connection, so it is like iOS 11.2 and it's mobile yes it's tablet no so basically this is the iphone that's what it means and um if i do the same from the ipad i should So we can also notice that um, I've also connected um, this other guy. I started the exam, but this other one just registered. I've connected, um, but uh, 
one this is still an ios device it's tablet here so that lets you know it's an ipad device i can also connect from my macbook laptop uh, okay now this allows you to connect from basically anywhere the whole idea is you're bringing your device you can come with your laptop you can come with any mobile phone you have now the application is just available on um, android and ios we also have the web app but we have an optimized mobile um web app which allows you to also connect from any device okay um let's just do that from here as well so let's also try to connect from here as well okay i'm trying to connect from several devices so you know it's um it's just getting very busy over here so i'm just gonna say david david um since it's free mode you can actually pick any um number of subjects you want um it's not fixed but for the standard mode you have to pick four subjects so um if i come here back to the application i can see all those that have registered so we have to from um the desktop web if i see the information i can say okay this is from like a macbook and um using a chrome browser and this is this other one should be from this um windows 10 um which i'm currently using and um it's also from chrome and um you can get to see information about you know the, the subjects which you know they're registered for as well so you get to see the subjects which they're registered for and for those that are finished you can also get to see the results okay so i'm just going to do one last connection well let me just start the exam on these other devices whenever i start the exam you can see the questions you know the total number of questions user is to answer now this is done because um for for instance the free mode it allows you to pick you know a number of subjects which it it, it only knows at runtime you know what happens so let me just make one last connection from an android device real quick to just showcase this okay give me one second so i'm just going to pick two courses uh so subjects rather you know from the android device and then we can notice that um we have another user here with the connection information um use of english and then it's, it's a mobile app and then it's using android 16 and this brings me to another point um the minimum android version is 4.1 okay so for those that have um 4.1 and above you can make use of this for every other person you may need to um use the mobile I mean, web app um when i mean the web app, i'm talking about like um the website application that's been optimized for for the mobile device and i'm just going to connect using you know the mobile web application um to just show you how this is going to work i have a tablet android tablet here i'm just going to do that real quick to show you that um basically what i'm just trying to do is to show you that you can connect from you know anywhere just bring your own device um it works with you know basically all devices give me a second one into the one six eight let me verify the ip address one more time the two dot twenty one one six nine six okay 
I'm just about connecting. So I just connected from, I just registered from my tablet, my Android tablet. And um, you can see operating system is Android and it's using the mobile web. So as opposed to using the mobile app, which you get to see on the other one. So we have the mobile app, we have desktop web, we have the mobile web as well. So it shows you that you can connect from basically any device anywhere. And just to demonstrate this real quick, I'm just going to select some jargon answers. Now um, for the mobile, for the um, web application, you can use your um, navigation keys to move left and right you can also use the ABCD keys to select the answers and um, yeah so I'm just going to um, click on finish so that this video doesn't go too long it's already longer than what I anticipated and when you're done it sends the results to the application which can you know you can see the results you can see the status that this user has finished and then you can see the full result if you want to generate the results as well it's something that you can do and the results part so um thank you very much for watching this video um tell us what you think about it go downloading you can you know get the application you know share with friends study with friends and we will share the best in your exams